Look how awesome this is. We're jumping in. This is the skull guy, Ryan. My skull would fall out of my head if I was doing this. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think how many skulls there are off the bat. I think there's about 12. So we're going to get skulls? them all down. All right. uh, the I would have been your daddy's skull is the first one you get. Which is normally a huge pain in the ass in the Halo games. It's yeah, they like to make that one a challenge yeah. until this game. Where it's just uh, kind of up on a ledge next to that Look, it's that a very challenging <laughs> ledge. Do you see that beam cannon, cannon in the background? The cannon. Cannon. The beam, <laughs> beam cannon, cannon, cannon in the background? Uh, so, yeah, this, this one, the skulls are tiny. They look like pebbles. They so blend in really effectively. You really got to keep your eye out for them. The second skull in a blue team, so the first time your Master Chief, is the black eye skull. So, basically, this is the control center. You want to jump well, this up This is the here. reactor room, right? Uh, is that what right, it is? Yeah, reactor room. You're your heading right towards the, the control yeah. center. So there's a uh, weapon crate right there. You're going to jump up on this mm -hmm. pipe. If you watch the co-op, you probably saw us get this. The uh, Halo Mission 2 co-op, which we're going to finish. Right, Ryan? Someday. Absolutely. <laughs> well, Jeff made his promise not to do it without him, so. Uh, and, uh, and then he left. You'll see a sign that says, keep clear. Don't do that. Instead, jump up, and you'll see this grating with a red stripe down it, which... And Universal symbol for ground pounding. Exactly. That's yeah. what red stripe means. Anytime you see these gratings, just that's what the beer's bustroom. named after, actually. <laughs> yeah, is that true? Yeah, it's all it's, it's ground pound me beer. So I was showing a hydra at the corner of the room there for yeah, everything you know, but the skull. Reason. Yeah, yeah let's, some let's DMRs touch over everything here. in the room. We'll poke that. Boop, oh, let's pick boop, up a DMR. Boop, boop. And there, there it, it is. is. Just uh, chilling, floating, even. No shadow or anything. This is actually a good way to kind of circle around the behind area of the uh, the control room, too. Yeah, because the door opens and mm -hmm. lets you back in. Okay, so this one. This is the Iron Skull in Glass, the third mission. I watched you pound this level. <laughs> I was in this level for 15 days. hours. Here's how to do this one. you got to be in Legendary. Yep. Uh, grab the Scorpion. So. This is the new I would have been your daddy skull. Yeah, essentially, because once you grab this scorpion and you're on legendary, as you make this right turn further up the road, you'll see a cargo ship being chased by a Phaeton? Yeah, sure. Is that what they're called? Phaeton. Yeah, the uh, Promethean ship. You have to shoot it out of the air, so I'll take one more shot and totally missed it, but All right. you can revert checkpoint. I'm glad that you kept that in yeah. there. Well, you know, I wanted people to know that you can revert checkpoint <laughs> because it sucks. Uh, apparently, it's a bit easier if you have someone in the turret do it. Oh, okay. Why don't so, you just hop in the turret? Uh, because there were people shooting at me, and I was afraid. But All right. Boop! Clipped him there. Hey, you nailed the Thetan. Yeah, you'll hear the, uh, like, grunt birthday party sound when you hit it. So you'll know, you know you got it. And now, the skull spawn in one of three places. It's random which one. Uh, the first one, You're I got lucky shit. enough really? that it was there. What's that? Why is it in three random locations? Yeah, right? Like, on Legendary, shoot the thing down that you never know. Do you get to down. watch it fall, maybe? What, nope. the skull? Yeah. Maybe if someone's standing there, it's possible. We can figure that out later. But I happen to get lucky. It was in the first place I looked. I'll show you where the other two are. So there's your uh, iron skull. That's a fine barrel. Oh, yeah, yeah right there. Between, yeah, right between those two <laughs> barrels. Uh, the second place it could spawn is way back on top of the building where the tank is, where you got it from. All right, on top of the It's actually another under, barrel. It's under this barrel. So it would spawn right there on the ground. Okay. And uh, the third location is back in the area before this, this area here, and it's under that overhang. You mean the tarp? No, this thing, under this rock overhang right here. You mean the rock tarp? The rock tarp, yeah. That's where you keep your rock motorcycle right. dry by putting a rock tarp over it. So you got to push these boxes out of the way, and it will spawn on the ground right there. Well, it would have already spawned. Right? I spent so much time moving that box, and Vale just pushed it back. Vale, you bitch. <laughs> uh, so next one, Blind Skull on Unconfirmed. This is the fifth mission. The fourth one is kind of a hub level, so there's no skull there. <laughs> uh, when you enter the mine for the first time, just jump up on the rafters over here. And duck down. This is right after you fight a bunch of Promethean snipers. My favorite part was how confused you were about the skull because you're like unconfirmed. So is it there or not? Oh yeah. I, oh, I, it's the level. <laughs> I read it online. They're like the blind skull unconfirmed. I was like, how can you have an un? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so yeah, pick that guy up. Now this one. They're waiting for you to make the video. That's yeah, what happened. This skull is kind of a pain as well on evacuation. So right when you start the level, you have two minutes to destroy five cones. Cones. Yeah, like traffic cones. So, you grab a gun goose and basically just follow my path here. I kind of spin that's, out that's every now style. and again. Yeah, that's, that's actually critical. You yeah, have you to need, do that. If you don't do that 360 right there, uh, yes. all the cones despawn and you're just screwed. So, I assume there was a cone somewhere under there. There you go. There you go. So, you shoot that cone. You'll How hear, do you know when you've destroyed it? You'll hear the grunt ah. birthday party noise. And there will be kind of a little firework. So, uh, keep continuing down this road here. The next... Uh, what am I thinking? The next cone 
will be in the area where you got the tank. And there's no way, there's no timer or anything on the screen, right? No, just you just, the, the way you'll know if you did it in two minutes is if the fifth cone spawns. If the fifth cone isn't there, you weren't fast enough. Four spins, remember that, very important. Yeah, you gotta do four. One for four each total cone you have right yet kill, to kill. So the cone was right on my right, right there. I passed right by it. Turn, turn, there it is. And boop, nice pop that turn thing. radius on this gun goose. Yeah, the gun goose. Now you can aim to the left and right, but I don't know if it actually shoots that far left and right, because the they're they, mounted they just do straight forward. They very mounted. Yeah. Right, so that was the second one. I don't know if they swivel. Yeah, the third one is behind this crashed warthog right here. Uh -huh. There it is. See, like I can aim all the way to my right, but I don't think if I turn, like if I didn't turn the mongoose, I wouldn't <laughs> hit it. But, you know, whatever. So now I'm I mean, if you're going to weaponize a four-wheeler, you might as well just make it shoot forward. Right? Yeah. Also, do this Put on easy. Put it on easy. the handlebars. Like, you know, do yourself a favor and do this one on easy. Yeah, so far, the uh, the one on glass is the only one that requires legendary, right? Right. Yeah, that's the only skull that requires it. None of the other ones do. Uh, so pop that fourth one that was on the uh, oil pump, I guess. And the fifth one is going to be next to this pelican. Again, if you didn't do this in two minutes, it won't be there. So after you pop that fifth one, now play through the entire mission... Until you get to the end. Quite a jump cut. Yeah. Oh, well, it will fade in post. Don't worry. People won't have seen that. <laughs> uh, so at the very end of the mission, you'll see the Guardian there for the essentially the first time uh, up close. He does these shockwaves. You can see it kind of melded into the ground right there. Nice. Yeah, so you just get the top of the skull poking out of the ground. And uh, a word of caution, you will die here if you wait too long. Like, I was being an asshole. I went to crouch and boosted because B should be crouched and it's not. And uh, so there is your thunderstorm skull, and I died right there. The screen went really bright. Yeah, that's what, apparently what happens when you die. Uh, the grunt birthday party skull you showed me. You found this one like right away. I gotta say the the there are two skulls on this map, and they were mm -hmm. the easiest ones to find. I think of any of them in the game. Yeah, they were like just off the beaten path. So that's uh, the first area you fight a bunch of covenant. You'll see them next to a crashed phantom. And uh, down this path here, there's a grunt sitting holding the skull. And he's singing to himself. Yep, he's singing a little song. And when you go up to him, you get uh, press X to punt option. So basically, wonder, you just click X. Did you, actually, you haven't gone back and tried to shoot him, have you? Because uh, I'm curious if I you did. shoot him. I did shoot him, actually, and it okay. didn't spawn the skull. Ah. But then I clicked punt on nothing. He did the punt animation on no grunt, and then the skull spawned. All right, then. So <laughs> you can punt even if there's no grunt there, and it drops the grunt birthday party skull. Uh, I'm happy they left that, like, made that one fun, because in Halo 2 there was a bunch of dancing grunts when yeah. you found that one. Uh, so this is the last area. You come down the, uh, the elevator, right, and then it's, you're told to go join Cortana in the thingy, and mm -hmm. it, there's a big open area. You just kind of walk to the right. Yeah, it's after you drive the Phaetons for the first time. Over there to the left is where it wants you to go. Yeah, so I, I zoomed in on that at the beginning. There's the next skull. It's just kind of hanging out. Really tiny. Like, that, this one lets you know how small those skulls really are. They yeah. are totally hidden. The uh, Mythic Skull. So, this is on Swords of Sangilios. 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 Helios. The G is silent. Yes. Uh, you'll come to this hallway where it says Hornet's Nest at the bottom. And outside there will be a giant battle happening between a bunch of banshees. By the way, this place is a bitch for looking for collectibles because you can mantle onto everything. Yeah, and uh, they kind of show that with this skull because you're supposed to go over that temple, but instead, you're going to head up to that platform. A goddamn plateau planet. <laughs> that is uh, where the skull is. I was seeing if that banshee still worked, if I could just fly up there. <laughs> uh, you cannot, so basically you need to jump up What this is that called? Shale? Is that shale? fucking shale. What sh oh, the rocks? Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. You gotta uh, mantle your way up limestone, this. Limestone, maybe? Which kind of sucks. Fucking limestone. Now you have a long-ass jump from here to uh, that platform. I hope that's made of something more structurally sound than limestone, because limestone... Oh, that will collapse yeah, when you no, hit it. Especially because how much does a Spartan weigh? I mean, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> With well, all that I mean, you're around. playing his lock, right? So, you know, he's he's been doing his P90X. He's been watching what he eats. I saw someone post online, is lock way shorter than Master Chief? Or is, uh, I mean, he got to the genetic experimentation way later in life. That's I don't know. true. Maybe he's just not as big. I would expect him not to be. <laughs> uh, enemy lines. All the way at the end, you finally board the Kraken after seeing it the whole game. Board it to death. The uh, catch skull is on board. So what you have you, to do is... On board? You're, you're boarding and it's on, on board? Yeah, you're on board the boarded Kraken. Right. <laughs> so... I just ignored all these guys. I'm on easy still because I can be. All the skulls spawn on easy. Mr. easy. I think this is the first game where they do that. I thought on normal they didn't even spawn. But uh, down here you'll see this banshee bay. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll know you're in the right That's one. A good there's word two. For it, sure. Yeah, there's two banshee bays on this. Uh, you'll know you're in the right one if this green door is on your left. 
when you're looking at the Banshees, and the skull is up there. They color-coded their hangar. Nice. Yeah, you gotta run into that green area to destroy the uh, core of the Kraken and actually take it out, which is surprisingly easy. You thought it'd be worse after seeing it the whole game. <laughs> and uh, there is the Catch Skull. Look, the Covenant have real problems with protecting their things from intrusion from the inside. Yeah. <laughs> if honestly, you get on the, sh the ship, the, the Scarab, you know, anything, then you're in trouble. I like in this one when you board the Kraken, you can hear all the grunts screaming like, no! He's boarded the Kraken! We're, we're screwed! Oh, no! <laughs> so, uh, in Battle of... I'm not even going to try. Battle of Sun... I will. Sunayan. 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 Um, a warden will spawn in this area. This is pretty close to the very end of the mission. You just want to drop off the edge and turn around. I'm actually standing right on top of the skull. I was looking for it. Like, oh, <laughs> there it is. It's halfway in the ground. They are not afraid of burying those things. No, sometimes you'll only see a little bit of it peeking out, and it really sucks. Uh, and that's that cowbell skull, which makes bigger explosions, which Ooh, is really gotta fun. Gotta have more cowbell. Uh, Genesis. We are getting close to the end. The tilt skull. You'll, uh, come out of a big battle with about four wraiths. Gavin, favorite Genesis song? Mama. So, right. uh, run to your right after that light bridge, and you'll that see this- That was worth waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> you'll see this tiered rock right here, so you have to- Mantle your way up it. Always jump towards the left of the higher rock, otherwise you just won't make it. Land of Confusion. Land of Confusion. <laughs> there it was. You there just needed a little bit. And the Tilt Skull is going to be chilling right at the top of this. I'd say this is about three quarters through the mission. Uh, that guy was not telling me to pick it up. Not as bad as saying he knows, but Genesis also not great. Yeah. A lot of places you can mantle to in that one. Uh, this one's actually really easy. Uh, the Famine Skull on the breaking. When you see that Warden spawn about halfway through the mission, you just run in this hallway. Yeah, that was a good Spartan charge, Jeremy. Nice. The... the well, that thing won't mess with you ever again. You're nope. Good. Yeah, not after that. And, that uh, structural feature is done. Also, the suppression rifle? Yes. Really good for the soldiers. Very solid the soldiers. It yeah. pops the armor off them so quickly. Exactly. Even I've, on legendary. Like, uh, what is it? They are a bitch on legendary. Light rifle, suppression rifle. Combine those and you'll take out the soldiers right away. This is the last skull, the tough luck on Guardians, the very last mission. Uh, when you're at this area, we're gonna shut down all these cores, like mm -hmm. shoot them and shut them down. You'll see a crashed pelican to the right, and the skull's right next to it. So you just gotta run your way up there. You can actually get up around the left side too, but it's a bit more mantling and stuff like that. Yeah, you start this this sequence in a mantis. So this is, once you get the mantis, you know that you are close. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I hopped out to do this, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, it's really it up sucks there. to get in. Yeah, but once you squeeze yourself through that hole, you see this pile of rocks. And the skull is just hanging out right at the bottom. I was trying to get a good angle I mean, from over God here. thank God you're locked right now, because Master Chief is too beefy. Yeah, Couldn't way too big to get through there. And there it is, just on its side. And, uh, yeah, so there's the core right underneath you that you need to destroy on this side. So I'm showing you Crash Pelican Skull. Nice. And uh, that is it. That is the last skull. So when you pick that one up, if it is actually the last one you needed, then you will pop the achievement right there. And Grave Lord. So, how much of your life went into this? Would you say this way point? too much? Because, uh, yeah, Mission Three. That yep. was that good was old glass. Fifteen hours <laughs> looking for that stupid skull, only to find out it was some weird series of events that had to happen. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you want more guides on Halo Five, then you need to subscribe to Achievement Hunter, and we'll have them. Do it now. Bye.